So, it's the fourth year in a row the Easter Bunny has not visited you and dropped you little tiny chocolate droppings. That's, that's unfortunate. I can come by and leave you some chocolate droppings, but I don't know if they'll be the same. Hey guys, I'm Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look at how to uh, do some cool stuff in the Node Editor. So, I'm going to give you guys three tips on the Node Editor and some things you can do to make your life a little bit easier. So, let's go ahead, and this is... Blender by default, obviously, put your cursor up in the top left-hand corner or the right-hand corner. Just make your cursor a plus in one of the corners and click and drag until it splits into two. And we'll split the, and we'll change this to the uh, shader editor right here by clicking this little button. Boom, now we're here. So you can see the shader editor is pretty basic by default you know there's only the principal bsdf shader in here and then the material output what i'm going to do is we're going to add in a couple of random nodes here so i'm going to add in a color a color ramp node and we're just going to plug this up like this and we're going to just make something really 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 simple just so i can show you guys um what the heck is going on so i'm just going to add a couple of nodes here so we have something to work with um, so there we go. So we have something that looks like this, like a little cow, which that's whatever. All right, this is like the default thing that I always do here. Noise and color ramp. There we go. So now let's say that you want to do some, uh, you want to do some rerouting here. So what we're, we're going to do is you need this to go into roughness. So you need the noise texture to go into roughness, but you don't want them to overlap like this because that's gross. So something really simple you can do is hold down shift on your keyboard, shift, and then right click and drag a line over top of this node. And you can see right there, it kind of splits into two. And what this does is it makes it so that you can now use this little point to connect something up. So what you need to do here now is once you select this bad boy, you just click a box over it, something like that, hit G on your keyboard G and you can move it down here. So now when you pull this over to the roughness, it is no longer over top of the color ramp and looks all nice and neat and organized. Super, super cool stuff. You see the roughness working in there. This looks really cool. We can, you know, turn the scale up, the whatnot and whatever. Um, so that's really, really simple and really easy to do. So um, now what we need to do here is there's two other things that I want to kind of touch on. Now, if you want to remove this, um, you can hit delete and it'll get rid of it. Or if you want to like separate this and remove the um, the little point, the little node point we've just created right here, you can just hit uh, alt and then uh, left click it and pull it off. So it kind of like you just pulled off a, a little, a little hair, you know, you just plucked off a little hair off of that node. Now you can just either connect some other things to it and, you know, do this or whatever, do this or whatever, or you could just hit delete like that. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna put that back just so we have oops, so we have a nice little thing up oh, hit, hit me hit G move it down there. Nice. So um, let's say that you have a bunch of nodes here. Let's say you have like all these and it's like, whoa, it's like so many things going on because you have a big, big material. And you don't want to have all this stuff be a mess like this. So what we can do is click and drag a box over top of the whole thing. And it control G. And what this is going to do is going to put it all into a group, as you can see. So now it's in a group it says we have the group input and the group output here. So what we can do is it's little this little arrow up at the top. And you can see when we go back, all of those nodes are in this little group. And we've done this tutorial before, but I'm just like packing everything into a nice little singular tutorial here. So we've definitely done a group node, a group uh, node tutorial in the past a long, long time ago. But I think these are really, really cool, because you can get a lot of things um, super organized and really, really quickly you know accessible without having to scroll through a bunch of nodes and have all this stuff just everywhere like this it's just super confusing sometimes so let's go back and you can now we can go ahead and name this i'm gonna name this um um john because you know why not and now you can have this and once you hit this little button up here at the top you can go straight back into it and start working on things then go back to the arrow easy now if you want to ungroup these just right click it and then just hit ungroup and then everything will be back how it was and we have the material output there um which is super super cool stuff so let's go ahead let me get rid of some of these just because it's a lot to look at all right so now um the last thing i want to touch on is um is framing things so essentially if you've ever seen like super big materials or super um advanced materials they typically have these nice little colored boxes around everything so let's say you have uh three nodes here uh or do this right let's just, let's just do these two um so click and drag a box over top of these two nodes right here and then we can go ahead and hit control j and it'll add a little box around it which looks really really cool so now we can go ahead and click and drag this around and move these two together like it's a little tiny group inside of the material without like actually grouping it together super super cool stuff so let's say you don't want it to be like black now just go ahead and select it hit this little arrow up at the top or you can hit in on your keyboard hit in to open up the little panel on the side or like i said just hit that little arrow you can hit this uh color button and now you can hit this little drop down and then change the color to whatever color you want which is just super super um easy and really really 
organized. I'm going to be honest. We need to start doing this kind of stuff more, honestly, on the channel. It's just really, really um, intuitive, as it were. And we can also go ahead and um, rename the frame as um, Beth, because obviously it looks like a Beth to me. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we can change the label. So oh, we can turn the label. Wait, where's the label? We can turn the label on. Uh, we can just type beth there we go so now you can see we have the name beth there which is nice and we can turn the label size uh, up and down so you can see what the the name is right there on there um so yeah super super cool stuff really really simple to do and it's very very easy and it just keeps everything looking nice and good so those are three um node editor shader editor tips for you hope you would learn something new today um this has bumped up my organization the last couple of days insanely so i'm gonna go ahead and like i said just pass the torch on to you guys hopefully you learn something cool something new that helps you in the long run quality of life kind of tutorial is always my favorite if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe and you know hit like comment all that stuff much love guys um once again happy new year I said that last video but um go ahead and do something cool i'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye